Hi there. So in this video, we are going to discuss if else conditions in C sharp. So first thing, open Visual Studio and create one C sharp console project. And you will have empty projects such as this. Now inside static void main method, I want you to first create one variable. Let's say integer a and set its value to 10. Next thing, we'll create one con condition here. Uh, let's say I'm going to use if keyword and inside the bracket, I'm going to use condition that if this number is less than 20, which it is, then on console, I want message such as a is less than 20. Okay, now outside this if, I'm going to just use console.read to hold the output. Okay, and now what we're gonna do is we're going to run this program and see what message will appear. Now here you see our console is showing the message a is less than 20 because our value of a is 10 which is less than 20 and that is confirmed through this if condition block now that you got this a is less than 20 message you can confirm that this e block works as per our scenario now in real life however we don't have this single scenario such as this we have multiple scenarios and we have to tackle that problem so let's see if my value is let's say 30 then this condition fails and this is where we have to handle else part so else part will take care of the content where we have to say a is greater than 20 okay so we take care of two scenarios here where the value is less than 20 it will run if block if the value is greater than 20 then it will run else block so let's execute again and find out what happens because here the value is greater than 20 so it will give us message a is greater than 20 now there is one more scenario which we have to discuss so that scenario is what if the value of a is equal to 30 so let's take a look at that we will add one more condition which is else and if okay so we'll take a look at the else if and we add one bracket inside that bracket I'm going to use a is equal equals to 30 okay if a is equals to 30 then I want message console dot right line to say a equals to 30 okay so we take care of three scenarios one where value is less than 20 value is greater than 20 and when the scenario that shows a is equal to 30 so we have if condition else if condition and else taking care of all the possible scenarios where we have values that fall within particular range okay so let's execute this and find out and as you can see a is equals to 30 is printed on console so you get the idea of how to use if block else block and else if block in your c sharp program